Hi this is Lucy and today I'm going to show you how to build this tiny base inspired by a fortune teller's wagon or caravan in No Man's Sky. If this is something that you would be interested in please stay tuned. Hi this is Lucy and welcome to a No Man's Sky episode. I'm trying to talk a bit more quietly at the moment because I've been having problems with my voice and my asthma so if you can't hear me I'm sorry you will just have to turn up the volume. This moon, this paradise moon is called Calypso which I, I named it. I didn't actually know at the time there was a galaxy called Calypso I found it fairly early on in my second playthrough. I'm actually running two playthroughs concurrently. This is my second playthrough character. And for those of you that know, in Fallout 76, which I play a lot of, well, technically I build a lot in, but I don't so much play these days because there's nothing new to do. They gave us a um, fortune teller's wagon and when I bought it from the Atom store I thought it was a prefab. Now I don't often buy prefabs but I really like the look of it. When I placed it in my camp I realised that it was in fact a very large vendor and not a prefab. Now I pondered long and hard about whether or not I could build a fortune teller's wagon in Fallout 76 and realised that even if I did it in a custom world it would not look the way I wanted it to look. But as many of you know I play a lot of No Man's Sky and realised I could do it in No Man's Sky so I did. So this is my wagon, it has a trailer as well has a spare wheel on the back, obviously we need a spare wheel. The hitching hook is actually an upside down tap. I would have liked to have been able to put these end pieces on the front but they won't go on with these upside down walls and if you put them on first you can't get the walls on. So, but I, I did think maybe I should take these off the back but it just looks wrong, it looks too flat on the back without them I think. We have a little place to sit out here, there is also a campfire. You do have to jump to get in. <laughs> I hung this curtain but you can walk through it. I'll just wait a second while the game actually renders that poster on the wall. It's thinking about it, maybe. So we have a fully fitted kitchen. I have my nutrient processor. I do use wire glitching to resize certain items like the nutrient processor. Didn't want to put a sink in here, but I put a tap on this container to make it look like it is a water purifier or a water dispenser. I made a bed using a desk and a um, wall panel. And this, these are supposed to be pull out drawers under the bed. You will notice there is a save point here, a save beacon. I also have a resized refiner there, although I do tend to use the portable refiner, but it's useful sometimes if you want to refine lots of stuff quickly at the same time. Shelving, I, I really like my um, kind of dragon head planter, that worked quite well. The lighting in here is really interesting. I put one of these little um, candelabra 
blooms, which I'm struggling to say, on the ceiling. And I actually coloured it purple. And although it doesn't look purple, the light that it displays, that it shines, is purple. And it added a really nice touch to this, I think, because I didn't want too much red. Like 76, a lot of No Man's Sky, the soft furnishings are all sort of in the red spectrum. So I wanted something a bit different. And it really lit the area up well. Whoop! <laughs> had a visitor, these little fly things. They're a bit of a pain when I'm building because they knock me out of camera mode. I also have a resized um, teleporter base terminus here, which means pretty much this tiny little base, all of this stuff is pretty much built on one square. You can get all of it in. I even have this, needed a little bit of technology, I have this on the ceiling. So yeah i'm really pleased with how it turned out it was a challenge but i really enjoyed it so now i will show you how i built it so i'm going to make a start over here i'm just going to build another one we need the floor two quarter walls off the ground And if you have a problem getting these floors on, try adding another wall. Now I'm going to remove all of the walls because I want to add four of the small floors. You can just use a regular size floor, I just think it looks better with the smaller ones. We can take this off, but we do need to re-add the quarter walls. Don't snap underneath for some reason, it's being a pain today. So you should have something that looks like this. We are going to add these extruded timber walls with a small, which will not go on the way I want because it's being a pain. If you have this problem, just add another floor either side and then you should be able to switch it around. Now we've had a slight problem on console, definitely on Xbox, where we have lost the ability to rotate left. We can only rotate right. Apparently, um, come on, apparently there's been some issue with um, the button being mapped to do two different tasks, rotate left and um, cycle part. So it's only cycling the part. If I try and um, do this and rotate it left, it just <laughs> cycles parts. So it makes doing something like this much more tricky because I cannot rotate left, which I rotate left and right to line things up. We're going to add a plain wall on the back. Actually, I'm going to put the back over this end so that we have space for our trailer. I'm going to add the timber. <laughs> Try and add the wall caps on the end. These have worked perfectly every time I've built this until today, apparently. It knows I'm recording. There we go. I 
I'm going to add a wall temporarily, and this is the other reason actually you need the smaller floors. I'm going to add a wall here in the middle temporarily. This is so that I can add these roof gables on and we can take it out afterwards. It is so that you can easily overlap the roofs so that we end up with one and a half roofs. Now we need to add a door although you may find that you need to remove it later but we need that wall there so we can add a small timber floor. Come on. Start here with a small floor. Going to add a light floor here making sure that the thick line is on the right. I got this technique off a YouTuber called Flowery Squirrel and we're going to wire glitch this piece here and attach it to the original light floor. Place another one here making sure again that the thick line is on the right and then wire glitch and attach to this point here. So you should now have a straight line. You can remove these. Now we are going to wire glitch a small floor to this point here. Now you can see the difference. This floor here is attaching to the wall. It is a regular floor. It is slightly higher than this one because this one is upside down. Oops. You can see if I attach a floor this side that it flips over. Now the wall here, the doorway might cause a problem so we're going to remove it temporarily and we're just going to place these floors like so and we should be able to snap on these gables. They can be a bit of a pain to get on but just persevere, move your position. That tree is in the way. Mum, you went in. Come on. <laughs> it's really annoying when you actually get it in position and then you move slightly and it you lose it. There we go. Right, we can take these off. I'm going to leave one over there in case we have a problem and we need to um, redo it for whatever reason. I'm going to try and put the door back in. Now be aware that sometimes the door, like so, is upside down. I'm going to have to get rid of this tree. It is driving me crazy. <laughs> Sorry tree, just go away. Thank you. There we go. Now to put the roofs on, we're going to use these roofs and just basically snap them. Yes, you can accidentally snap them on upside down. We're going to take this roof gable here and just pull it forward here so there isn't one in the middle. Now to do the wheels, I'm going to start with this wash trough. I'm going to now go into free placement mode and I'm just going to 
line this up so that it's make it slightly larger so that two of these will cover the bottom part like that actually a bit too big but you get the idea we're just trying to cover this part here that is woefully badly lined up I'm very sorry I'm trying to the trouble is I spend a lot of time you know placing stuff in no man's sky so that it's absolutely perfectly positioned and um, doing a video doesn't really <laughs> be like watching paint dry I would suggest if you want to put flowers in the troughs that you do it now before you put the wheels on. I'm just going to quickly shove some stuff in there because um, I had problems not being able to place stuff behind the wheels. That is definitely not straight, but never mind. I'm just trying to show you the technique. And... The wheels, of course, are these cart, cart wheels. I enlarged them and then I rotated them. Now, as I said, I have a problem rotating at the moment. That's not actually too bad. So, We are going to line this up like this and just pull it so that it's slightly forward of the trough and um, duplicate it. These are actually um, lower than when I first did it and I have built a few of these it's being a bit weird the trouble is you build something and then there's an update and something changes so you could put a floor underneath or actually ah maybe there that looks a bit better Let's see if I can rotate this so that the yeah I can't um I can't rotate that back now. You get the idea anyway. I won't do the other side. <laughs> to do the um, hitching on the back and the trailer, basically I added a, whoops, need to go back into snap mode. I added a quarter wall on the back like so and then a floor piece so that I could add a tap unfortunately more rotation I'm going to increase the size place it down turn it around I have no idea if that's vertical or straight or not it's not really but <laughs> turn it around there we go. Go back into free placement mode and just attach it so that it looks it it looks a mess. <laughs> looks <laughs> like it's attached to the just hanging on to the bottom of the back like so. You can remove these. For the cart, for the uh, trailer on the back, I'm using the drawn cart. I'm going to increase the size and then just rotate it up slightly. This is one of those objects that it's difficult to rotate. So I'm going to rotate it manually like this. And... try and line it up with the hook obviously I might need to be a bit bigger but 
there's some very strange noises going on outside. I'm very sorry. I have no idea what's going on. You get the idea. You should be able to line this up with the hook. Um, it did take me a few attempts to do it, so <laughs> I won't bore you with that anymore. You can see here it, it does look like it's actually hooked on. Right, for the wheel on the back, just duplicate one of these wheels. Make sure that you're in free placement mode and you should be able to just stick one on the back. So that is pretty much it. I haven't done the steps actually. To put the steps on the front, take, take a small triangle, snap it on like so, or three of them, then a small square floor, can remove these now and we are going to snap two more on they sometimes ah it will go on we're overlapping here if you can see we are overlapping onto the floors in there but that's fine we will take it off in a second now just get the small staircase and snap it on like so and then you can select this floor and remove it and you have the steps attached to the front in the middle so that is pretty much it if you want to colorize it this was colorized in mahogany which is one of the wood colors i had originally wanted to do it in red using this technique but the red and white, I didn't actually like. It's um, the white. The white is too much. If it had been all red, but I did think that maybe green might work. You can't change the color. You have to colorize before you build it. It will retain the color. like so you can obviously remove all of these extra pieces now these walls under here and if you're wondering what kind of animal would pull um, a caravan like this I will introduce you to Massey Massey. She is <laughs> an Indric tamara Tamaralius. She is very pretty. I actually found this animal on my main playthrough, on my first playthrough. And it's an ESO joke because she looks like a mount in ESO, which is called an Indrix. So I named the species Indrix tamaralius. And I have a couple on my main character. This is the natural colour they come in. And um, I have actually um, coloured an egg. So I ended up with a kind of turquoise and purple one. But, you know, they're quite nice in their natural state as well. I will put... The coordinates down below if you fancy one of these to go with your caravan so <laughs> she's very friendly and she's great fun to ride and yeah she really does look like an indrick from elder scrolls so right i hope that all made sense i'm sorry about the rotation i just saw patch notes this morning for an update in No Man's Sky for, you know, a fix and the rotation is not listed in the patch notes so I could sit and wait for a month or however long for them to fix this but, um, yeah, I think I, think I did okay <laughs> If you have any comments or questions please post them down below That's all from me today Thank you for watching <laughs>